Today we're installing these waterproof vinyl tiles for our shower. They're interlocking. Um, we've used a product similar to this before. This one's made by Palisade. We've used this one in the past. This is made by Duma Wall. They look pretty close to the same. The Duma Wall is a little more of a glossy finish and the Palisade is a little more of a matte finish. Um, even though these are waterproof tiles, they, they claim to be waterproof tiles, you still want to install them over a waterproof substrate. So we put Red Guard on the walls yesterday. We polyurethane the seams, so now we have a nice waterproof seal behind our tile. All right, so when you install these, you want to install them with the groove up and the tongue down. So on your first row of tile, you're going to want to cut off this, this tongue on the bottom and the tongue on the right-hand side. So we pre-cut these two pieces. They're going to be our first two pieces that we're going to put in. I've already cut the tongue off the bottom and the side. These two will go in. This is going to be our first line. I've got a reference line drawn in here. It'll help me kind of get the first row straight. That's your most important row. I already pre-cut my Schluter. We're going to use a Schluter rather than the, the um, end pieces that come with the tile. We just prefer to use Schluter. I've got it taped in and then I'll glue it as I go as I put my tile up so I can keep everything nice and straight. All right, so we're a little more than halfway done. And as we were going up, we noticed the wall has a little bit of a curve in it. So you can see, I've just got this one up as kind of a sample and you can see this gap compared to here. So we were having to custom cut these lines. So just a reminder, when you're doing this and installing it, make sure you check from line to line, dry fit your pieces, make sure the angles match uh, before you put your glue on because these things are not straight and you will find some pieces will need to be custom cut as well as the top piece when we get to that. So uh, the company that makes these tiles, I just wanted to point this out to you, they make an inside corner. Um, I just don't like the way it looks and you can do this without the inside corner, but you have to do a little extra work. So we double silicone each piece in the corner. So this piece before it went on was siliconed in the corner then this piece is going to go on and that's going to seal that corner off really well. And then you always put silicone at your joints where they come together. Last piece. 